Hey friends, welcome back. Today, we're doing some more work on our swimming pool. This saw my last video, we got it set up, it's partially filled. Well, we picked up some of our plumbing that we're gonna use to do hard plumbing from the side to the back in this area, and then we're gonna use the Intex uh, hoses to connect to the filter system we have there. That's what we're doing today, and we're trying to beat this thunderstorm that's rolling in right now. I'll put a list of items we're using in the description, so be sure to check that out because we're going to have a lot of different PVC pipe and just adapters and stuff. But what we're going to try to do is use a one inch PVC to come through this hole right here, and it's going to be tough. So I'm going to cheat a little bit and carefully use a heat gun to warm that up so I can slide this through from the inside. And then when it's sticking out here, we're going to use an elbow on uh, each one of these to go down and kind of show what that looks like. I don't know if you can hear it on film, but there is thunder running this way, getting closer. So we'll get as much as we can done, can get done here shortly, and then probably have to get everything put away before the storm actually hits us. Thanks for checking out the video. If you haven't, be sure to subscribe down below, leave your comments, questions, give me a like on the video, all that fun stuff. All right, like I said, I'm gonna use a heat gun right here and I'm gonna put it on low and just heat up where this little nipple comes out just to get it warm, because right now it's really hard. Um, it doesn't want to uh, cooperate very well. This guy right here, it's like rigid, but I don't want to get the actual pool too warm, cause any damage. I don't know that it would, but it's possible. So I said, just carefully kind of warm that up a bit. It's just like a hard plastic. It's probably PVC, like the, the soft PVC or whatever, I guess it's called. Oh yeah, see, see how much better that is now? You can actually bend it and stuff once you warm it up. I said, don't want to get it too warm and risk any issues but i do want to get it warm enough that i can slide this piece of pipe through from the inside without too much trouble we might have to put like some uh silicone or something on here to make it slide a little easier what i might do is actually just sand down these edges to give it kind of a, a angled edge to slide in because this is about the same size so i'm going to do that really quick with some sandpaper and sand down those edges okay and it's going to probably be hard to tell for focus but i did just kind of sand down a little bit i don't want to do too much because this needs to fit in a coupler and seal tight still so i gave it just a bit of a beveled edge so i can get it to slide in through this other side here yep there comes the rain And just like that, guys, you can see I'm going to push this in about like that, maybe a little further so I can put the filter in on the other side, because otherwise it's not going to have a cover. I'm not going to get that worried about it, to be honest. I'll figure out how to do a cover on the inside of this later. All right, so now you can see how that's going to stick out and kind of give you a, a peek on the inside of the pool of what that kind of looks like over there as well. So we're gonna do that to both of these outlets right there. And then I'm gonna use a coupler, an adapter. I might need to cut these down a little bit further still. That seems to hang out quite a bit, but we'll see what happens. It is starting to rain. Okay, it is starting to rain. Um, we got the one piece of pipe in so far, but we're gonna go ahead and head inside because it's supposed to storm here in a little bit and we don't wanna be using tools and stuff out in the rain, have thunder and lightning all around us. So we'll be back uh, in a couple seconds for you guys. We just had some big lightning and thunder really close so we headed inside right on time. All right so the rain's passed we're back at it there's kind of that one tube I did coming out of the pool we'll put a clamp on there just to make sure I'm gonna do the same thing now to this one I just don't remember how long that was and they need to be the same length because they're connecting so I gotta get a tape measure measure that quick. Like I said we tapered that one end there I'm gonna cut this down to three inches. The part on the pool is about two inches long and I'm gonna have this stick out an extra inch so I can put this adapter on there. This adapter is about an inch deep, so that'll go on there. So I'll cut this down to three inches so it'll stick out of the pool one inch, connect the adapter, and I'll show you guys that here in a second. But for now, I'm just gonna cut these down with my little saw and get the lengths that I want. All right, so now we got those two pieces there. I'm gonna bevel down those edges again. That'll slide through from one side. Okay, and then just like before, I'm gonna use my heat gun to heat up this guy here, just on low heat, just being careful not to heat up the pool too much, just to make it a little bit softer, a little bit easier to work with because it is not easy to work with the way it is. There we go. Apply a little bit more heat. 
And this just makes it a little softer so that way it expands a little bit when you push this one inch pipe through it. So that way it comes all the way out. You could probably do this with three quarter inch, but I don't think it'll, it would give it as good of a seal if you did that. There we go. So now we got both of the outlets sticking out and we can start assembling the next part of that. Kind of see uh, one there and then the other one there. And now we're gonna use an adapter to go to inch and a half and then put some elbows on there and kind of drop it down a little bit. Okay, so the next part is we're gonna put the adapter to go from one inch to one and a half inch on the filter outlets there on the pool. And in order to do that, we need to use some PVC primer and PVC glue, some cement. So we're gonna go ahead and get ready to do that really quick. We'll put the primer on the thing first here. So we're gonna take this, just like a little brush thing, gonna lube up the inside of that, give us some good primer coverage there. We're gonna do that to both of these pieces. And then we're gonna carefully apply some to this outlet as well here. Just again, give it a nice surface to glue onto. And then once that's kind of dried up, we're gonna use the glue to apply some glue to this surface. We're gonna put those together. Again, just take this and put a nice even layer of the glue all on the inside of this. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put them together and twist it kind of on so it slides all the way on there and just kind of hold it in place for a little bit to let that form a nice solid seal. 10 seconds or so, it won't really even take that long. You can probably let it go and it's good. And there we have one and a half inch outside pipe now so we can connect our pipe to that, our elbow to that. And to give you an idea, what that's gonna look like is the elbow now will go on this on the outside, take our pipe straight down. We're gonna do that on both pieces and we're gonna put a valve on each side, but I'll show you all that here. And same thing, the glue on there, twist it and put it down in there to get it on all the way, just like that. Now, those are adapted to inch and a half, both of those. Easy peasy. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually put the elbows on at uh, whatever this angle is facing each other. And then I'm gonna connect these right here, put a ball valve on each side and then a T in the center. So I'm gonna make some measurements here, figure out how long this piece between these two needs to be, and then cut down a piece of that inch and a half PVC pipe. And then we'll cut it down to put the T in it. And then we'll cut it down even further to put those ball valves in it. And then the reason for that will be we can turn one side off if we need to, if we're using the vacuum that connects to just one of these. We're gonna get our saw here set up to cut down one of these inch and a half PVC pipes that we've got. Get this measured out to 40 and a half inches. So there's that one cut down. We're gonna go right over there and put it in to make sure it fits the right way quick, which it should, right there. And then we're gonna cut it down because we're gonna have a T in it right in the center. And you can see it's maybe a little bit longer than it should be, so I don't have it pushed in all the way yet either, so it's probably about perfect, to be honest. So now I'm gonna cut that exactly in half, and then we're gonna cut it down again for ball joints on either side of them. I'm feeling like we're gonna have to buy more of this PVC pipe. I don't think I have nearly enough. Again, double check, we're doing about 20 and a quarter or so. All right, now we got those two guys cut down. And then now, like I said, we're gonna put a T in the center of them, but then we still gotta cut these down because we're gonna put a ball joint in each one. So I'm gonna measure for that really quick by kind of eyeballing it, to be honest, and using a tape measure, we'll see what we come up with. Here's that ball joint that I'm gonna use. And again, it'll just be like kind of there. It'll be right in the middle of this. So we gotta cut down each side of this and then attach it so that's like right in the middle. So now, there's our two even pieces that we will be connecting to our ball valve that in turn will connect to those elbows. So now, this is gonna kinda go like this and this will be a T here and then both sides will connect to that. So I'm gonna go put it up to the pool to make sure it's about the halfway point to make sure my measurements are right. So yep, that's about perfect. Right here was about the center. So now I'm gonna go ahead and glue this assembly together because this should be right. Gotta do some more math, guys. More math, more mathin' because there's gonna be a T in the middle that both sides will connect to. So I've gotta cut off the length of this. We're good there. Give you kind of an idea of what this is gonna look like. It's not all glued together yet, but here's kind of the assembly. We're gonna have the inlet, inlet, valve to shut off, valve to shut off, and then there's gonna be a T going down to the ground where we're gonna then run hard pipe back around the backside of the pool where the filter system is gonna be. So what I'm gonna go ahead and do is I'm gonna glue together the elbows 
and the, the piece between the ball valve and the elbows and the ball valves. So that way I can have that glued together and I'm just gonna kind of assemble the rest and have it sit here until, until the pool fills all the way so I know what the angle's actually gonna be. So I'm gonna do that really quick, put that together and just kind of leave this here and then we'll put together the pool um, I don't know, feedback, whatever the heck that thing is called. Glued those elbows on and it doesn't matter if they're really straight right now because I can still spin these in here until I put a clamp on those, which I've got a clamp. I'll clamp that at some point once this is all assembled probably. But I am gonna go ahead now and use primer on the inside of these and on the next piece of pipe and get that part ready to go on. Something you probably could do, I'm not going to, but you probably could. You could paint these black probably to help heat up the water in the summertime with the sun. Just an idea, I'm not gonna do it. I'm not that worried about it, but someone could. This is where you wanna definitely hold this piece together. It's a little looser. There we go. And it's gonna start getting some weight on there and kind of pull. Again, it doesn't need to be perfectly even yet because of the fact that we are only going to assemble it part way for now. Again, put this together and then hold it for like 10 to 15 seconds. Otherwise it will try to slide apart until that glue starts holding it, which like I said, takes like 10 or 15 seconds, not too long. There we go. And then I am going to go ahead and get a piece of PVC cut. So I'm gonna put that T in here and connect PVC to it and go straight to the ground just to give it some support so it's not putting a bunch of pressure on those outlets there. So I'm gonna just take a quick measurement and kind of see what that's gonna look like. Well, I've got some time. I'll do the ball valve part and then kind of just put the rest together for the moment. And then I am only gonna put the primer in the one side of this for now, because we're only gonna glue the one side together and I'll leave the other side until we uh, get the pool filled up and get that ready. And then just take that PVC glue, just a little coat in there, and then give it to where it's gonna be close to up and down, I think. If it's off a little bit, that'll be fine, but that's gonna be pretty close right there. Again, it's gonna put a lot of pressure on there, so just gotta watch that for a moment. And then I'm gonna put these in the closed position, which will be like that, so that way once the uh, water gets up to it, it's closed. I've got this fully connected and sealed right there. And like I said, then we'll do the center part once the pool's filled all the way and this top part rail comes out like it's supposed to. All right, and then, like I said, I'm just gonna put this T piece just kind of in it to hold it to, together at the moment. I'm not sealing this part, and then I'm gonna get a piece of pipe just to connect to the ground to hold this up so it doesn't put any unnecessary pressure on there. Kind of like now it's just hanging and putting pressure up there, which I'm not a fan of, so I'm gonna measure that, cut out a piece of pipe to go there. Just like that for now. That'll kind of give you a preview of what that'll look like because that's exactly how we're gonna do it. And then now we're gonna go ahead and put this um, filter pump outlet, the part that goes into the pool on. And that's because uh, we're using the actual part that came with the pool. Gotta figure out if the seal goes on the inside, probably. I look at the instructions to see if the seal goes on the inside of the pool, which I believe it does. And then this will be on the outside and just tighten down. I'm gonna double check that really quick here. La, 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 la. You're so loud, man. Okay, so this does, the seal goes on the inside of the pool. And then we wanna make sure we put this guy up because this is the little adjuster to let it suck air in for aeration. So this literally just comes through the pool like this, making sure that that opening is facing up. And this on here, and I'll get a, a wrench here to tighten that down a, a quick turn. And then the next part that goes on there is actually the plunger valve that actually attaches to this part. And the nice thing about this is this is gonna allow us to go ahead and keep this valve closed for right now as well. So that way the pool can go ahead and fill up. And then once it's done, we will finish plumbing the rest of the piping going back to that filter. So I'm just gonna get this put on there now. And then we're gonna make sure it's closed. And we are done until this pool fills up. So uh, we'll check back in with you when that part's done. The weather's not being super cooperative today. So I'm doing stuff in between kind of rainstorms or, or rainfall here. So I'm gonna kind of show you what I'm doing. Not gonna show you the cutting of the PVC pipe and the gluing of the joints together because I've shown you that so you know how to do that. But what we're doing is we're gonna finish this section coming down and I'm gonna tuck it in kind of behind here so i'm gonna take this straight down it's gonna connect to a hard pipe here and it's gonna run along the length of the pool 
and it's gonna come back here and connect to a 90 degree elbow to run over and connect right there to the inlet to the pump. And then this outlet on the pump, I'm using this hose that's gonna come over here to the side and connect to this hard pipe. I've gotta put the elbow and threaded adapter on still. And then it's gonna run up here to this soft hose that goes to the pool inlet. And then it's gonna connect right there. So I'm gonna use some soft hoses on either end to keep this from being too rigid and, and cause this to break and stuff. I am gonna use hard pipe going straight down there to give this some support because there's quite a bit of weight to this here and then that's how we're going to hook up the piping for the pump in addition to this i'm installing a skimmer right through here somewhere probably right here next to those so i'm additionally going to install the skimmer run some hard pipe i'm going to put another t right in here and connect and no i cannot put a t here because i need to control the flow of these guys here so when I'm using the skimmer, I can close these down. So I can't tee in here because then it would be on that valve there. So that would not work. So I will install the skimmer here, run a hard pipe down to another T right there. I'll do the skimmer in a separate video. Like I said, this video, I'm just focused on uh, putting in the PVC pipe. So let me get some pipes cut, glued together and assemble and come back with the next clip. Here's my elbow assembled. That's gonna go at the end of the hard pipe on the ground facing towards the pool, kind of like this, or towards the pump, this direction. And then I'm gonna thread that hose on right there. I do have like a gasket I'm gonna put in here as well as some uh, Teflon tape I'm gonna put around here because the threads aren't quite the same, but there's not enough pressure to, to get too concerned with that. We can make this work. So again, this is the pipe that's gonna go to the actual inlet on the pool. I've got this 90 degree elbow I'm gonna attach here and that's what we're gonna connect to this hose. It's coming out of the sand filter there. So I'm gonna put some glue on these connections quick, get it nice and gooped up here and then just slide them together and then hold them for about I don't know, 10 seconds or so. So that way it doesn't try to slide apart on you. It'll become a nice solid glued connection like that. So then this, you can see, will attach here. I guess I've got a gasket I'm gonna put on here and then some Teflon tape I'm gonna put on these threads so that way we can get that connected. Here's the gasket I'm using. It's like it's it's like a pop-up drain gasket. I'll, I'll show you what that looks like. Um, I've got the package for it, but it's gonna literally just sit right here on top. And then when I thread these together, it's gonna give it a nice seal so that way it doesn't leak water. And then again, it's using the thread sealant tape on these outside threads here. So I can screw this down just to help make sure it doesn't leak around there as well. This is that pop-up drain gasket I'm talking about. I'm using it. it's an inch and a quarter inside, two inch outer was the closest that I could find. I couldn't find inch and a half inside, but it's not gonna restrict the flow or anything crazy like that. So that's what I'm using on all of these threaded connections to seal that. If you've ever done any type of plumbing work, you've probably used this Teflon tape before on any plumbing work in like a bathroom or a kitchen or anything like that, or even on automotive repairs, you'll use it sometimes for stupid train. You'll use it sometimes on automotive connection as well to give you a, a good seal. So we're just gonna put a couple spins on this to give it a nice thick seal. I'm gonna put that gasket in there. And then we're gonna go ahead and thread this together just like so. Give it a couple good, make sure it's nice and tight there so that way it doesn't leak. And then that is gonna be our connection from the pump to this hard line. And we're gonna do that on this one as well going into the pump. Something else that might come in handy pipe wrench like a, a big old pipe wrench to get on there and, and tighten that down because again you just want to get tight so this doesn't spin around so you know you've got a good seal and then again on the side that goes into the pool i'm doing the same thing i've already attached the threaded end to the pvc pipe and now i'm going to use that pop-up drain gasket and teflon tape and i'm going to connect this right there and the outlet then from the sand filter into the pool is 100 percent done and we can finish up the other part of this drain system. Again, this is where pipe wrench come in handy just to get this uh, nut on there. Done any plumbing before, the exact same process. Get that tight so we won't have any leaks. Okay, we've got this thing about all complete. So you can see here the two filter outlets from the pool connected with that one inch PVC to these adapters, shut off valve on each one, ignore the T for now. This is for my skimmer. I'll do a different video on. And then the pipe goes down along the bottom, a couple elbows, and then it goes into the filter. I'm just uh, picking up one more 90 degree elbow so I can get that up and connected. And then coming out of the sand filter, used a hose connected right there, comes all the way along the bottom, connected to another hose up 
into the pool inlet. So that is how you can custom plumb one of these and you could do hard lines all the way if you wanted. I wanted to give it a little bit of flexibility so when the pool moves, these move and that's why I've got the, the regular Intex pool lines on the ends down here as well as the, the, the sand filter outlet going into the pool up at that end. And right now, once I connect that, I could fill this up and just start using the system. It would be ready to go. But like I said, I'm installing a skimmer right here and I'm gonna tee it in to the sand filter inlet right there. So watch for that in another video. And oh my gosh, by the time this uploads, it'll probably be 1100 subs. Thank you guys, you're all amazing. I appreciate it a ton. Seriously, I cannot express how much I appreciate all you guys to subscribe and watch these videos and comment. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You guys are amazing.